So today I'm going to be showing you how to work the pebble stitch. Now this is my Skipping Stones washcloth. I'll pop the link to this in the description if you'd like to check out the free pattern. You can see that it looks great in a contrasting colour but it also still shows up when you use a solid colour. Now um, there's two things to note about the pebble stitch. The first is that it will always be worked on the wrong side. So you'll, you'll see that the wrong side is quite flat compared to the front where all the texture is. So you'll always work your pebble stitch while the wrong side of your work is facing you. And the second thing to note is if you're working in rows you'll need an odd number of stitches and if you're working in rounds you'll need an even number of stitches. So to get me started I've got this foundation row. You'll need an odd number of stitches if you are working in rows. So let's get started. So I'm going to turn and chain one to start this next row. In the first stitch and between each pebble stitch we're going to work a single crochet. So we'll work that. And then for the pebble stitch itself we need to yarn over insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. So now we've got three loops in our hook. So we need to do that another twice. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through for five loops on our hook. And then once more, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. So now we have seven loops on our hook. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on our hook. And then we'll single crochet into that next stitch. And we'll follow that process again. Now you can see there that the pebble stitch has just naturally moved to the back of the row. Which is why we work the pebble stitch on the wrong side. Because that's where it naturally wants to be. So we'll yarn over. We'll insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. So we've got three loops on our hook. Then we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. So now we have five loops on our hook. And once more, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through for seven loops on your hook. And then we'll yarn over and pull through all seven loops on our hook and then we'll single crochet into that next stitch. And we'll pebble stitch in the next stitch. So we'll yarn over and set your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Notice that I'm not pulling the yarn too tight that there's a bit of give in those stitches that are on the hook. We'll do that another twice. So we'll yarn over and set our hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through. So now we have five loops on our hook. Yarn over and set your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through for seven loops on our hook. And then we'll yarn over and pull through all seven loops and single crochet. And you would do that for as many stitches as is required or until you reach the end of the row and you should end with a single crochet at the end of the row. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how to do colour change for this particular stitch so that you get the contrast of the pebble stitches against a background colour. So for this I'm just going to bring in my gold yarn. So the next stitch is going to be a single crochet. So we change colours the way we do for every single stitch. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Before we do our last pull through, we're going to drop the yarn we're using and pick up the contrasting colour. And then we're just going to yarn over and pull it through to finish that stitch. Just give the ends a little bit of a tug so the tension isn't too, too um, wayward. And then we're going to work the pebble stitch in the next stitch. 
So we'll yarn over and set our hook in the next stitch, remembering to sandwich that carried yarn between our hook and the new yarn we're using. We'll yarn over and pull through so we have three loops on our hook. Then we'll do that again, yarn over and set your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through so we have five loops on our hook. And once more, yarn over and set your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through so now we have seven loops on our hook. And before we complete the final pull through, we need to drop our contrasting colour and pick up our main colour again, which for me is this chocolate brown. Then we'll yarn over and we'll pull through all seven loops on our hook. And then we'll single crochet into the next stitch. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull through for two loops on your hook. Before you do the final pull through, we're going to drop our yarn pick up the contrasting yarn, yarn over and do that final pull through and then we'll work our pebble stitch into the next stitch. So once more, final time, yarn over and set your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, three loops on our hook and again, yarn over and set your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, five loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through for seven loops on your hook. And then because we were changing colours, we're going to drop our contrasting colour, pick up our main colour, yarn over and do that final pull through to finish off that stitch. There we go. And then we can single crochet in the next stitch and we follow that around and you can see that all of that beautiful texture ends up on the opposite side of the work to what we're working on. So you can see there that that creates these really pretty bobbles. And that's all there is to the pebble stitch really. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.